Hangover, day two. The name's Cross. to be a cop. Now I just solve problems. The kind of problems that require a professional. I had planned to take the night off. But that was before the dame opened my door. Are you James Cross? <laughs> oh, it's terrible. I need your help to find my husband. I think he's been abducted. <laughs> the sap's name was Martin, one of the Van Pelts. I took the case. I went down to a pal's watering hole looking for some info. It didn't take long. I guess her husband took a shine to the red light district. He was close by and on a bender. What do you want? Oh, Scarlet sent you, did she? Well, you can tell my wife I'm away on business and then you can mind your own. You must know who I am to have found me. He was giving me a hard time, but when you're in my line of work, you learn that that's the only time there is. That's when I heard the familiar click of a hammer being cocked behind me. If I see the likes of you snooping around here again, I assure you that I will- <coughs> It was only business. Look, a pillar of our community is gunned down in an alley, and you expect to believe you just happened to walk by? Is that the horse shit you're trying to feed me? Mr. Crocs, please. We're here to help you. If you just... Punks like you make me sick. You know what I should do to you, fuckface? Great. Take it easy, man. I ought to smash your head open and take a shit in your skull! Greg, Greg, man, you're all, sir, you're all, sir. Let me try and talk with him, all right? Come on, Jimmy. I'm a human, you're a human, and I know you used to work in this precinct. But we don't got nothing on you. But I need you to tell me what you know. I couldn't tell you why she did it, and I don't know why I didn't tell them anything. We're all guilty of something. And I 
I've still got bills to pay.